Thanks for logging on to my March 2023 market update report. Give me five minutes and let's see if now is the right time for you to buy a home. A Reuters headline from February 16th reads, U.S. home sales, housing starts, and building permits tumbled in January. It also said that the sector has been the biggest casualty of the Federal Reserve's aggressive interest rate hiking campaign. At the same time, new listings in January were down 5.4%, lower than the last six years. Yeah, that little dot in the lower left-hand side with the arrow pointing at it, that's where we were in January with new listings. So what's this telling us? It's telling us that builders are building less and sellers aren't actually selling. So inventory is not getting better for buyers. And we all understand the law of supply and demand. Low supply and high demand mean prices will remain elevated. And at the same time, interest rates continue to climb as the Fed tries to get inflation under control. Last week's AP report reflects the Federal Reserve's preferred inflation gauge rose last month at its fastest pace since June, an alarming sign that pricing pressures remain entrenched in the U.S. economy and could lead the Fed to keep raising interest rates well into this year. The report also showed that consumer spending rose 1.8% last month from December after falling the previous month and January's price data exceeded forecasters' expectations, confounding hopes that inflation was steadily decelerating and that the Fed could relent on its campaign of rate hikes. It follows other recent data that also suggests that the economy remains gripped by inflation despite the Fed's strenuous efforts to tame it. The Fed raises their rates, which affect interest rates, expecting housing, which makes up about 18% of the U.S. GDP, to slow to a crawl, hoping that inflation starts to fall. Up to this point, however, their efforts have been not producing the results that they want. So they'll continue to adjust rates until they see results. I know, that's all fascinating, but what does that mean for housing? It means higher interest rates are still to come, and with those, a major slowdown in sales. So what should you do? That all depends. If you need a home today, I suggest looking at new construction. Builders know the slowdown is coming and they want out. We are seeing incentives from builders that we have not seen in years. If a new home with a new roof, new appliances, and a community is something you'd be interested in, let's talk because now is a great time to be a buyer in that market. However, if you don't want a gated community, then that means that you're looking for a resale, which currently costs about the same or more than new construction and may need repairs or replacements of certain mechanical items and or just cosmetic issues. Sellers saw their neighbors sell for top dollar and they believe their home is better and worth more no matter what the market's telling them. For you, I would postpone your purchase until the fall, if you can. By then, the Fed should have made their adjustments and we should be seeing lower interest rates and I predict the slower sales will wear on the sellers and prices will start to settle. I know this doesn't sound like a good business plan for me because I'm a buyer's agent, but it may be the smart plan for you. If you're not in a rush, let's be patient. Let's keep searching, let's keep watching the market as this market changes quickly. If you're in a rush, then let's go out and view the new construction inventory, which is limited and dwindling by the day. But today is offering the best opportunity for you. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to me via email at trip at tripsmyrealtor.com. Give me a call or let's schedule a 30 minute conversation on my calendar link below. I'm Trip Hernandez with Dale Sorensen Real Estate. Thanks for watching my market report. I'll see you next month.